Welcome back everybody. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can get IBC totes for literally pennies on a dollar. So these are large IBC totes. Each one holds approximately 544 gallons. So realistically speaking, you're looking at easily, easily over a thousand gallons worth of water storage just with these two totes. So brand new, you can expect to pay about a dollar a gallon. So for an IBC tote this size, brand new, you're looking at anywhere between $500 and $600 easy. Now I did find an IBC tote that was about two and a half, three hours away. It was 300 gallon and was for $200. Now I essentially got these pretty much for free. I'm gonna show you and tell you how I did it. So these totes right here, before I got them, carried a lime solution. Now, why is that important? Because chances are your local municipality, right? Your local city, county, wherever you get your water from, if you're not getting it from a well, is gonna use probably a lime solution or they're gonna have some kind of water treatment chemicals and guess what they're gonna come in? Big IBC totes like this. Now I asked my local water treatment plant. Hey, what do you guys do with the IBC totes once you've offloaded the, the water treatment chemicals off of them? And they told me essentially once they're offloaded, Public Works will come by in a truck and trailer and they'll put them for storage until a truck can come by to pick them up in order to be recycled and then the city gets a small deposit on whatever's recycled. And then I asked, well, what could it take for me to, you know, take those from me? Can I you know, can I buy them from you guys or how does that process go? And he said he wasn't sure and he'd get back to me. So I followed up with him later and he said, you know, I'm really not sure. Um, I'm not sure because the city has no policy set up. So he doesn't know if he can sell them to me or, you know, how that works. And then he naturally asked me, hey, what are you using them for? And I said, well, I have a large gardening um, project that I'm working on. And I would love to have these for, you know, water containment and, you know, pretty much for, for irrigation purposes for gardening. He's like, oh, that's, you know, that's a really good idea. So again, he said that he wasn't sure, but he'd get back with me and, you know, see if we could figure something out. So a few more weeks went by, followed up with him again. And again, he didn't really have any answers for me. And I told him, like, hey, you know, I'd be really interested in figuring out a way to take a couple of them off your hands for you. If that's something that we could work out. He said, you know what, let me talk to the city manager about it. Because obviously you want to use it for, you know, you want to use it for a project. And I don't see why. We couldn't give it to you. So let me just figure out, you know, from a policy wise, what we can do for you. So I got an answer a couple days later. So ultimately the city decided to donate these two IBC totes to me. And I was super appreciative. In fact, I then made a contribution to the water department's miscellaneous fund. And that essentially is gonna allow them to buy anything from consumables to equipment. So it's really just a general fund they can use for things that the water treatment plant may need. So I say we came up with a great, great solution, a great compromise. So this really benefited both of us. The city is able to offload these IBC totes and they're able to do so at a higher cost value than they would by just recycling them. And then I get a great product that I can use for my project. So let's just say I am looking forward to working with the city more and more in the future. And that my friends is how I got 1,088 gallons of water storage for literally pennies on the dollar. And if you're like me and you're on a budget, this is a great way to increase your water storage significantly for literally pennies on the dollar. So I highly encourage you guys to go out there and forge these relationships. Like I said, in this case, it works out best for both of us because I literally get a high quality IPC tote that was used once for holding, you know, water treatment chemicals that is used by the local cities. I know that I can then wash these out and I can use them for my own water supply or gardening project, what have you. And it benefits the, the city because now they can offload these and they can actually make more money than they would from just, you know, a recycling deposit. So like I said, you know, for me, this is a win-win. And again, I'm really looking forward to working with the city again on getting some more IBC totes. And as long as there's people buying water, there's going to be IBC totes coming in with a lime solution to make sure that water's treated. So there you have it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I always look forward to interacting with you guys in the comment section. As always, guys.